All right, here's a demonstration on how to get your little arm, the robotic arm, programmed and get it to pick up your Oreo or whatever else it is that you might be using. Um, there is, if you go to my website under extras, there is a zip file that you can download. And if you click on that and download it, download it to your desktop. I've already downloaded it. You'll see a folder that looks like this. You can right click and then unzip it. Okay, I think everybody should know how to do that by now. Once you're done unzipping it, you get a folder that looks like this one over here. And as soon as my wheel stops spinning, we'll continue. Okay, so you've got something that looks like this and you've got two different programs in here. This is the assembly manual that is on how to put the arm together and does a real good job of showing you everything. There's a couple of screws that I, you have to get from me. Um, these two screws right here, you have to get for me because they're special long ones. Other than that, it's okay until you get down to this part. This is not what you're using. You're using an Arduino and so it connects differently. So on my website, uh, under tutorials, if you scroll down, it says little arm tutorial website. If you click on that one, it'll take you to their website. and then what you would want is the wiring diagram for the original little arm. Click on that and you'll get you'll see the actual breadboarding and Arduino for that looking like this. Here's the the Uno Arduino that you're going to be using and so what you have is from each of the servos goes into uh, comes to the breadboard like this okay and so the power supplies go into actually you can just put them one two three four like this and put the power here in the ground the yellow goes to the uh these input pins for the arduino the red is the power and the black is the ground even though some of this part might not look quite like that's what it is that's what it is okay uh there is also a if you go to the assembling little arm uh kit video it will also show you how to do that. You have to go to the, if you go to the end, there'll be something here about. Is, if you use one of the, the rigid grippers, it doesn't different need stuff, But it'll do that, okay? Um, and so you set that up and you can look at the one that I have uh, up front to uh, see that, okay? So once you're ready to start programming, okay? Now again, there is stuff here. This is the build instructions. What you have to do is you have to open up Arduino. This should be an icon on your desktop. Don't open it from the file. It doesn't work as well. If you, if you go from here and you double click on this and open it, sometimes that causes problems. So I would recommend you don't do it. Open up Arduino, the program first, then uh, you're going to open and you're going to go on your desktop. I'll go up from on the desktop. You will go to your uh, Oreo Dunk folder, and you want the uh, little arm to see. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Okay, you want the little arm to see, and you open that up. This is the uh, program here. And then what you do is if you click this button right here, then that will. Uh, compile it just like uh, you compile the other stuff in robot C you compile it before you upload it and then if you once it's done compiling if you have your cable plugged into your Arduino then what you should see ooh, listen to that then that means I just plugged it in then under tools everything's running slow here under tools, it should show that you are connected. Okay, it's not yet because I just plugged it in, but now it shows it here that you're connected. And then you can then click this arrow right here, the little arrow going to the right. See how it says upload? I click on that and it uploads it to my Arduino. So that's the program that you need in order to operate it. Once the green bar over here goes away, it's property upload. 
and now you need to close Arduino. You can't run your other program while any Arduino program is running. So I close all of those. I go back in here, and now you got this little arm GUI 3.1. I open that up, and the one that's an application, I double click on that and the program will open up. Again, you have to be connected to your arm, otherwise this window never pops up. Then you, uh, at this point, if you've got power to your arm, it'll be jittery and jumping around. You click on the USB port and then your COM button and it should stop doing that. Now you do have to have a power supply along with the USB connected to it and I've got some coming. So now, here's how you do it. So what you do is this, you've got sliders, and mine's going to work slow because my computer's working slow this morning. But as I move this over to the left or to the right, then it'll rotate. This, is, this works up the arm, the base, then the shoulder, elbow, and gripper. What you do is if I have no sequence here, I get it somewhere and I record position. And that records that position. Then I move it some more. And move this down here to get something, I record the position. Then maybe i got to rotate a little more. Then I record a position. Finally, I need to grip it. Make sure you grip it before and then record it before you move it back up. So I move it back up and record position. Once you've got it doing everything you want to do, you can click play sequence and it will play through those steps. Okay, As, now I don't have my arm powered up or anything so it's not doing anything, but that just went through the sequence. Oh, and there's also a speed down here. You could put it down the middle. I always forget to move this. This pause will also insert a pause in there. Now what this is doing is it's creating, this was not here before, the motion recording. You won't see this at the beginning, but after I've recorded a sequence, it has a series of numbers, as you can see right here. Okay? So this is the base, the shoulder, the elbow, the gripper. And then this 22 is the speed. Okay? And so you can actually tweak your adjustments here. So 90 to 52 is moving down. So if it didn't move down far enough at the shoulder, I could actually make that a different number, file, save, and then I could come back here, play my sequence, and see how it's working. If I click the clear sequence, then it would delete all of that, okay? So that's how you uh, can see what you've done and also how you can make some changes to it. You can tweak it by in there without having to come back because otherwise you have to record the whole program over again. But if there's just one thing that wasn't quite right, you can figure out what number that is and you can change it, okay? And that's basically it, that's how it works. So you have to download the Arduino program, close Arduino, open this up, record your sequence, and you're good to go. Um, and again, like I said, the, um, I, uh, this little arm programming is, should be the video you're watching right now. And, like, and the other thing is over here, under their tutorials, they've got different stuff here about, they have, he has one about how to train it, um, and all these different things. So you can also look at his uh, resources also. And I think that's everything you need, so there we go.